morning. I have absolutely nothing in the house to eat. And for me to show you what I eat in a day, I need to have something to eat. So let's go get that. This is some uh, serious cutting work. It's almost perfectly straight. <laughs> You know that these takes on YouTube are bullshit, right? Like, you have to walk twice. It makes absolutely no sense. It's uh, mid-February. It's really, really nice. Oh, you freaking little... There's a very annoying sound there, but not much I can do about it. So this is the haul of today. I got oranges, very good. I got some cherry moyas, I got some bananas, two bags of these grapes, bunch of different vegetables. I got spinach, I got romaine lettuce, I got red leaf lettuce, another one, iceberg lettuce, some more spinach. Got some tomatoes, bell peppers, different forms of avocados. And I got myself another juice today. I already drank one, but I forgot to film that. Best YouTuber ever. So I think they're destroying the entire village thing over there. Anyway, meal number one. We already had one of these at the end of the morning, so, you know, the extension of meal one, but but still. So I'm gonna drink this one, then I'm gonna eat these cherimoyas, and then I'm gonna finish up with these bananas, and these look very good, very promising, they're very soft, so let's see how they taste. Oh, this looks good, man. These are actually called custard apples in English, I believe. They're called cherimoya, chirimoya, here, they're really good. I've gotten into the habit of actually touching my food when I eat it. Yeah, let's see. The seeds are actually poisonous, so I shouldn't eat these. I heard a story of someone who blended them up and they nearly died because of the seeds. They can have a lot, or not. It can straight up taste like chewing gum, it's, it's awesome. All right, cherry moyas were delicious. Now I'm gonna eat these bananas and I think I'll eat probably all of them. Uh, up this point in my raw food journey, I can eat a lot. That was a strong banana, by the way. I can eat a lot now. In the beginning, I could not because this food is so water rich, it's so voluminous, so it took quite a while for my stomach to be able to stretch that far without being uncomfortable. I remember the first time I ate like three melons in one go, like these small green honeydew melons, I felt like I was dying, you know? So a lot of people who come to me for coaching or advice in the beginning, they can't eat that much. So, you know, we need to find ways to get them to that point. Um, the other thing is a lot of people that need a lot of calories, they can't get it from the food because they're not absorbing it. So their absorption is just horrible. There's all kinds of things blockading and obtruding in the digestive system. Then you might need a juice fest to clean that out. So these are usually the two primary clients that come to me either they just can't figure it out how to get their diet in order to make sure they get everything they need or they just can't absorb anything then it's straight to a juice fest because that will clean everything out if you're interested in that there's a link down below to the juice fasting blueprint now spanish fruit is a uh, very good quality so i'm sure these bananas will be great they are Okay, so now I'm gonna take a little break from the sun. I've been in for about four hours. I'm gonna do some work. I have some call with clients, potential clients. And after that, I'm gonna go back into the sun and eat some more, so. Gotcha. What color is the mucus? Uh, so it's been clear and white. Nothing like when you had it on your juice fest, right? You got some weird mucus there. Yeah, yeah, so, so like on my juice fest, I had a little bit of like brown stuff one week. Yeah. That was really crazy. And then, <laughs> and then even in my stool one time, I had like this like yellowy, mushy stuff one day, or yeah. maybe it was like a couple of days. And that was like really far in, like around like day 40. 40 I, rem I, I remember you sending photos of that shit. That was weird, bro. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, Okay, so I spent some time updating the juice fasting program and all the documents because I learned a lot from a client's two-week evaluation. We basically also do a monthly evaluation of everything, all the metrics, the way they're going, all their juice intake, etc. They have to fill that out every day. And every single time I learn from my clients and I update this thing, it's awesome. So there's basically an entire action plan as well, accountability, support. I love this. This is exactly what I wanted to create. By the way, when you're interested in this, there's a link down below. But I love updating this thing, man. Like... I love it, it's my baby. Okay, so work is done, and um, this is actually down, and the sun is going down as well, so it's gonna get dark soon. And I was just putting everything into chronometer that I have eaten today so far, and it's been awesome to see actually what I've already gotten from just those simple things, putting it into my body. So I'll just show you a little update. Later on, I'll show you an entire additional breakdown of the day, but this is just to us, to not show you. Okay, here we are in the chronometer. I put everything in like the orange juice, the cherry moyas, and the bananas that I got in. And I'm already at 2400 calories. Isn't that awesome? Look at the protein, man. Already at 40 grams. Look at the nutrients. 
Like so many people are like, oh, you can't get bright, you know, you can't get new. Yes, you can. You just have to know how to do it. And simple things will get you a long way, especially orange juice, very high in protein. And I haven't even got to my salad yet, man. Just, just think about that. The salad's gonna add so much more. So, ooh, you gotta check out this sunset, by the way. Then we're gonna get to the salad, I promise. They're so creamy, unbelievable. Oh, perfect as well. So what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna massage in the dressing into the salad. I learned this from Sophie. I put her Instagram up here. She has a lot of tips and tricks about how to make your food more tasty and how to actually prepare it properly. All right, here we have it, the final product, the big bowl, simple salad. Like, look how big this bowl is, it's bigger than my head. So it is a simple salad and I usually default to a simple salad. I like it that way. Sometimes I make it more fancy. I put in some sprouts or some zucchini noodles or cucumber noodles or whatever, a different dressing, but this is usually what I default to. And for me, this is just a nutrient meal, just a simple nutrient meal. Now I'll explain more about my complete structure of eating and why I structure it the way I did today and always do in the chronometer breakdown after this. But for me, this is just nutrients. Of course, there's calories in with the with the avocados and stuff, but just simple nutrients, so simple big salad. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'll see you in the complete nutritional breakdown after this. All right, here we are in chronometer. Everything is put in, the meals from before, but also the salad and the dressing now. And we're hitting a comfortable 3,200 calories from the raw foods throughout the day. Awesome. So, of which is 70% fats, 6% protein, and 77% carbs. 77 is my number, that's awesome. So here you can see all the nutrients are basically smashing everything. Interesting to see straight away, four and a half liters of fluids from my foods and my juices, which is very cool. Then of course, 120 grams fiber, 680 grams of carbs, little low on the omega-6, but if I added some Brazil nuts, that probably would have been higher, or maybe some other darky leafy greens. And then the protein, we're smashing basically everything, like all the amino acids as well. 60 grams and remember like a lot of people think you need a lot of protein to sustain yourself or even build muscle um not really man like when i was this big i'll put it on the screen like i ate 90 grams of cooked protein remember that cooked foods have a diminished um, value of nutrition because you cook it so you know i don't think you need that much especially from my own experiences then the nutrients here hitting all the vitamins b12 i take two to three times a week sublingual under the tongue it melts vitamin d of course from the sun little low in the sodium but I honestly feel like sometimes these things just don't register sodium from the vegetables and from the nutrients in the greens themselves because there's a lot of sodium in those actually. Zinc almost smashed it, but other than that, everything is in the green. It's, it's, it's awesome that you can get all of this from raw foods. And remember, I'm in a subtropical country now, like I'm in the south of Spain. So I can get, for example, chirimoyas, but for example, maybe you're in Northern Europe or you're in North America where it's colder now. Make do with what you have. Make the best out of everything and make sure that this is practical. Like this is one of the biggest things I teach all of my clients and which I always adhere to myself too when I lived in Northern Europe for three and a half years, you know, being raw and doing my juice fasting is make it practical. So get everything you can, get the best quality you can, get all the fruits you can find that you feel comfortable with. And then when you need to make additional, you know, changes that might not be optimal in some people's ideology, just do it. Make sure that this is as practical as possible and you can get the most out of it. So keep that in mind. For me, that's this, that is this right now. But if I would be somewhere else, it would be different. All right, last but not least, the meal structure itself. It's very simple. I have calorie meals and I have nutrient meals. Like I already said, the salad at the end of the day, leaves, greens, lettuces, salad or smoothie, is nutrient oriented. Throughout the day, I'm just focusing on calories. So for example, these meals, I won't select that last orange juice, 2000 calories already. Get a lot of nutrients too, great. But my main focus here is calories, whether I have one meal or two meal, and at the end of the day, a salad. Have I been very active? I might up the fats, or I might add some fruit in front of it, but that's it. This is the structure I teach my clients as well. It's highly effective. Every meal has a goal. You never have to worry about a thing anymore. So there you have it. Full day of eating, 3,200 calories. Everything smashed apart a few little things, but I can make improvements to that. And that's it. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. If you have any questions about this, drop them down below. If you have anything to say, drop them down below. Any tips, tricks of your own. We all want to learn from each other. We all want to keep improving. Now, bunch of links down below. 
program. Of course, Juice Fasting Blueprint, Complete Guide to Juice Fasting. Also, a lot of other videos of mine and my Instagram if you want to DM me. So, that's that. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.